So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be doing a little bit of an ARC update roundup video where we talk about what's been going on with the community, the updates for the game and a little bit about the future later on in the video. I hope you do get all the news that you need to know and if you do smash that like button guys, subscribe if you're new to the channel and just thank you for all the support recently on the videos. I am so excited for the future of ARC. There is lots to look forward to. So let's get in with this. If you have been wondering where the community crunch is from Friday, Cedric did tweet saying no crunch this week, peeps. Lots of moving parts. Take it easy this weekend. Now, the main reason why there is no community crunch is because there just really hasn't been that much news that when he says lots of moving parts, it's mainly just because the team are working on the future stuff that is coming. They've got to get the Lost Island sorted. That's the, like the next free map. They've got to do another vote for the next creature that's going to be coming to lost island and then announce one as well all before the predicted um release date which is going to be sometime before november and i'll be explaining to that all of that to you guys later on in the video Cedric then went on to talk about saying how was your weekend peeps still a little quiet internally but I should have something for the crunch this week so that means come this Friday come in there'll be a little bit of news it won't be the most craziest news um, because they you know they're just mainly working on it but I'm hoping we might hear something on the next creature vote coming for the game maybe even just a release date for the vote would be nice just so we know when to look forward to when that is going to be coming out. In the comment section down below as well, let me know what you're most excited for from The Lost Island. And if you haven't seen any of my gameplay videos on The Lost Island, I recommend you check them out. It isn't the finished map. It's what we've got so far on the workshop. It's only 35% complete, but we do see some really awesome stuff. A lot of people comparing it to like the island and Ragnarok mixed together. And there is going to be four new creatures for that map, which is fantastic. So we're going to be going through the um, patch notes as well right now for the PC and the console. Now, bear in mind, the console is a little bit far behind in some of the stuff um, being released. But that is just because Wildcard need to make sure that the update is always good on the PC first. And then they can submit the update to Sony and Microsoft. The process just takes a lot longer to go live on console than it does on the PC. So fix multiple exploits. This is for PC, by the way. Fixed a bug where kill notifications would not appear. Fixed multiple level design related bugs such as holes, floating foliage and incorrect volumes. Fixed some exploits and then the last update I already covered for PC but I will be covering it after we quickly read through the console patch notes because um, this will be coming, these three will be coming to, no these two sorry will be coming to console next up which will be very nice. PlayStation, very simple update. It has just been the last three times fix multiple exploits, fix an exploit, and then fix another exploit. So that's the main thing that's been going on with the PlayStation. And the other update was the one back on the 8th, oh no, the 5th, sorry, of August. And it was this huge one that came to console. Um, and then expect another one of those, as I mentioned, coming up soon. This was the Xbox update. They re-enabled transfers and decay on console. On, so, uh, on Xbox, sorry, fix an issue where players were unable to join servers that were being targeted on the matchmaking side as off listed. Um, fix multiple exploits as well. Rework sessions and matchmaking. Fix an exploit and fix an exploit as well. So that is the full console update that we've had so far. This was the massive one again. But the console will be expecting this one that I'll read to you guys right now, which is already live on the PC. Fix some exploits. I can't remember how many times I've said that now. Fix the bug where the mutagen nearby buff icon would not display properly. Fix the bug where the raft and motorboat would not work properly in some water volumes. Fix a bug where the text strider bed would duplicate itself on the respawn UI. Fix the bug where charge batteries would not recharge uh, for the tech striders. Um, fixed a bug where uh, creatures would spawn above the map on some levels. Fixed the bug where the HLNA teleportation would uh, teleport. I thought it was going to say teleportation, but anyway, um, would not work uh, when the game is run in different languages. Fixed the bug where certain creature abilities would not work when the game is run in different languages. Fix the bug where the loadout mannequin's hotbar would no longer work when using blueprints. Fix the bug where the mutagen bulbs would fall through the map in certain cases. 
Fix multiple bugs with the Nogling causing problems um, uh, with the Nogling causing problems when taming and possessing. Um, fix the bug where some missions would not start properly slash could not be completed. Fix the bug where some subtitles were not playing uh, were, were not playing when the game is run in different languages. Fix the bug where the Explorer Note v, uh, VO would constantly repeat if you return to the location. And the tech uh, dedication uh, dedicated sorry storage box now supports its quantity display on various sides of the structure and has some quality of life features to enable these multiple uh, on these multiple boxes easily so that was the one on the 17th and then the one on the 11th to finish off the next update for console is fix multiple possession related bugs with the noglin fix the bug where players would not get twins or triplets when hatching such birthing babies on pc this one my only because it says on pc that's probably not going to come to the console um Anyway, so moving on from that, fix the bug which caused eggs to not be visible in the egg incubator. Fix the bug where certain creature abilities would not work when the game is run in different languages. Fix some exploits, fix some localization bugs, and fix some more level des uh, design related bugs such as holes, floating foliage, incorrect volumes, and incorrect damage multipliers. So that's the full stuff with everything you need to know with PC, PlayStation, and the Xbox on Ark Survival Evolved. And then what I wanted to add is because there was no, no community crunch, talking a little bit about the Lost Island release date. I already did that in my other video as well a few days ago. And just talking a little bit about some predicted release dates that the community have been talking about for other things like Arc 2. So what they said in the last crunch was just greeting survivors. This week we'll be taking a look at some great community art in the community corner and kicking off the weekend with an EVO event. Internally, we'll be keeping an eye on the live game and addressing issues with patches as they arise. Thank you for submitting your bugs with, uh, to the bug tracker and reporting any issues you are having. We're gearing up for an exciting year um, at the end of the year for ARK. <laughs> that nearly made, didn't make any sense. But yeah, okay, so release date. I don't know the official release date, but I can give you an estimate. In November, the Extra Life event will be happening for Ark Survival Evolved. This Extra Life event is something where Wildcard raised money and us as a community for an amazing charity to, uh, to support sick kids through gaming, which is really, really awesome. Um, we've been raising lots of money over the years. And also, when different targets are hit, not only do Wildcard change the uh, rates on official servers, they also give us news. I think it's like every 5k or 10k raised, um, on the next thing coming for the game so the, the next big thing is it's always a paid dlc never a free dlc or something always a paid one and next up there is no more paid dlcs so what we're looking forward to for the extra life event is arc survival evolve 2 and hopefully we'll get a release date in november and also some like kind of ideas and content and future trailers for that game so the lost island has kind of got a little bit of a deadline to come out and be released we're just about to hit september and we've got october november fear evolved has been officially announced coming this year as well i'll be making a video on that later on but that again i can tell you is 100 percent coming because cedric has uh, replied to something on twitter so anytime um, a lot of people that are expecting is going to be october for that free dlc because september they still haven't announced obviously that all the dinos that are coming and they still need to create one of them that wins the vote so expect it to be a bit of a quiet month for content throughout september but then october should be an awesome one with the lost island and the um uh, and obviously the uh, fear evolved halloween event Lots of exciting things to look forward to for the end of the year. A lot of people have been asking me in the comment section as well, Dom, what is going to be Arc 2's release date? And what I can tell you is, obviously, again, not knowing that officially from Wildcard, is expect it right now to be sometime in the summer. I don't know that for sure, but don't. a lot of people are saying, what uh, is it going to be January 2022? Is it going to be February 2022? Is it going to be March 2022? Do not expect it to be that, guys, at all. Expect it to be summer onwards, um, just because, uh, you know, there's still lots more that's going to be going on with the first game. And uh, I'm sure Wildcard have still got lots going on with Arc 2 in creating different, diff, diff, just different bits of the game, basically. I hope that clears up a lot of things that has been going on with the community. Um, I 
I really do like making these videos because it helps out a lot of you guys and I just love being able to do that. Been doing it for the past like five to six years now and I, you know, I, I just can't wait for Arc 2. It's going to be like a new journey for me, a new journey for you guys and I feel like that's something that has needed to happen for a long time, especially for my content creation. I can't wait to bring you so much new stuff. It actually, I actually get prop, I like, I just get so excited. Like, it's, it's like a next step for my career as well. So, thank you so much for the support. Leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you guys are looking forward to the future of ARC as much as I am.